remember this always we must meditate upon god he is all pure pavanam pavananam when we focus our mind upon him our mind will also get purified the question then arises how will we meditate upon god today we shall discuss the king of mind management techniques which is none other than meditation as we progress in our journey inwards to manifest the divinity within the benefits of meditation become obvious its first benefit it is a means for helping us develop focus take a look at the sunlight falling all over those same rays when they are focused through a magnifying glass they develop the power to light a fire there is so much of water vapor rising from the lakes and the rivers the same water vapor when focused in the piston of the steam engine provides so much of power that tons of iron bogies and wagons get pulled on those railway tracks similarly if our restless mind can be trained to focus it helps us become more effective in anything we do whether it is work or play or spiritual practice the second benefit of meditation is that it helps us cultivate the virtue of self discipline the reason why our mind is restless is it craves pleasures and wishes to run away from pain and discomfort so the sankalpas are hankering and aversion now when we force the mind into meditation we slowly subdue these urges of the mind for gratification and hence meditation is one of the most powerful means of cultivating the virtue of will power which is such an important virtue for success in life the third benefit meditation helps us connect with a higher power without having to go for journeys voyages and pilgrimages jagat guru shri kripalu ji maharaj states charo dham kahe kare govind radhe tera hari tere ur baitha hai bata de why are you going to these four dhams on holy pilgrimages when the same lord who resides there is also sitting in your heart that is why manu ji maharaj stated in the manu smriti yamo vai vasvato devo yasta vaishare disthita ten ched vivadaste ma ganga ma kurungama the day through meditation you can connect with the supreme power within you the lord sitting as the supreme soul there is no more need for going to bathe in the holy ganga or a pilgrimage to kurukshetra now the fourth benefit of meditation it enables us to bathe our mind in noble and sublime thoughts and thereby purify it meditation is a means for the purification of the mind 
which is so important. When we talk about the technique of meditation, you really don't need to learn anything new. Everybody knows how to meditate. A newly wed wife meditates on her husband even when he is away to office. The husband, that young professional, meditates on his job to get ahead in his career. The husband and wife go to the art gallery. The artist there meditates on his painting all day long. Even criminals know how to do it. That is why the term premeditated murder. This murder was thought about in advance. However, what we meditate upon creates the difference. If your child sits and focuses on his studies all day long, you are delighted. And if the same child is focused on video games, you feel so bad about it. The object of meditation made the entire difference. Just like you can use a glass to drink whiskey and you can use the same glass to drink Kesar Pista milk. What is in the glass is making the difference. If we meditate upon something that is mundane, it results in besmearing the mind with worldliness. Instead, if we meditate on a sublime object, the mind acquires sublime qualities. I always say that even one such gem of divine wisdom, if fully utilized, has the power to completely transform our life. In this recently published book, The Science of Mind Management, you will find a treasure chest of such divine wisdom. Do utilize it to achieve joy and enlightenment in your life. We now come to a very important conclusion. What should be the object of our meditation? Remember this always. We must meditate upon God. He is all pure, pavanam pavananam. When we focus our mind upon Him, our mind will also get purified. Hence, Lord Krishna states in the Bhagavad Gita, Mam chayo vyabhicharena bhakti yogena sevate sagunan samatityaitan brahma bhuyaya kalpate Arjun, your mind is in the three gunas, sattvagun, rajagun, tamagun, the three modes of material nature. Whereas I am trigunatit, beyond maya. When you attach your mind to me, your mind will also rise beyond the three gunas and become divine, truly transcendental. The question then arises, how will we meditate upon God? We had discussed earlier in this series, we utilize the power of visualization. Bring the image of your worshipable God, your Ishtadev, before you as you close your eyes. And that will provide you the basis on which you can rest your mind. People here question, Swamiji, we have never seen God. How can we bring His image before us? Well, the fact is, even the biggest yogis and munis cannot bring the actual image of God before them. Because the Lord is divine. Ram Swarupa Tumhara 
वचन अगोचर बुद्धि पर एंड आर मेटीरियल माइंड इज मेड ऑफ माया गो गोचर जह लगी मन जाई सो सब माया जाने भाई वेर एवर दिस माइंड गोस इज ऑल द रेल्म ऑफ माया सो हाउ कैन एनीबडी एवर एक्चुअली मेडिटेट अपॉन गॉड बट द लॉर्ड सेज नेवर माइंड यू क्रिएट एन इमेज ऑफ माइंड with your mind as you wish you can make me blue complexion fair complexion dark complexion tall short fat as you wish and create the bhav the divine sentiments that bhav will purify you and with the help of this practice as the mind starts getting attached to finally reach the stage of mam ekam sharanam raja complete surrender the lord says i will then bestow my divine grace upon you and when we receive that energy the yoga maya shakti shuddha sattva the mind then will become divine which means after god realization the mind will be divine and we will truly see the lord and before that shri krishna says you visualize me as you wish i have got infinite forms i am ananta naam rupaya those infinite forms include the one you make for me in your mind Again here a question arises from the nirakar vadis the worshipers of the formless they say look you have created a form of god with your mind this is not the actual form of god but my question to them is that you are meditating on light this is not the divine light that divine light can never be meditated upon with the material mind yan manasa na manute ye na hol mano matam tadeva brahmatvam vidhi nedam yadidam upasate yat chakshusha na pasyati yena chakshu gwamshi pasyati tadeva brahmatvam vidhi nedam yadidam upasate this mantra of the kena upanishad from the samaved states these eyes cannot see him it is by his power that the eyes see and this mind cannot meditate upon him the power of meditation is received from the lord so whether you meditate on light or you meditate on a form it is a creation of the mind but God says I note your efforts. It's just like in a deity when you create divine sentiments your mind gets purified. Similarly when you make an image of the Lord and start practicing it helps in cultivating love for the Lord and in bathing the mind with divine thoughts. Now somebody says Swami ji I like that picture of God in my friend's house can I meditate upon it sure I like that deity of the lord in that particular radha krishna temple can I contemplate on it definitely go ahead but make one change that picture that deity they are both material they are both jad insentient you use them as the basis and go forward let god come out of the picture his hands and feet are moving he is coming to me i am going to him i am bowing down before him he is blessing me 
I am now serving him. In this way, meditate upon the living God. If our meditation is such that the Lord just stands in one position and does nothing, then the mind will become bored. The mind will say, this is not interesting. Spirituality doesn't have to be boring. We can enliven it with bhav and then go even further. Contemplate upon the qualities of God. Our mind gets attracted by qualities. Wherever we see virtues, the mind is drawn so beautiful, so kind-hearted, so knowledgeable, so helpful. Now God has got infinite qualities. When He is all attractive, Krishna, then why is it Manmohan is not attracting our mind to Him? The reason is we have not contemplated on those qualities. So now with the image in front, think about His beauty, about His kindness, about your relationship with Him. And then finally, you can even serve Him in your mind. This is Manasi Seva, service in the mind. This is the perfect simulation. You know, like the astronauts, before they actually go into space, they are put into simulators. Where the environment of the cosmos is created to enable them to get used to it. Similarly, when in future we meet the Lord, we will serve Him directly. But right now, we have the opportunity to practice serving Him in our mind. So in this way, we meditate on the Naam, Roop, Leela, Gun, the names, forms, virtues of the Supreme Lord. However, to achieve success in this meditation, we will need knowledge and understanding of one more technique. And what is that? We shall discuss it in the next episode.